Uh, vaguely. I know he's been a regular at a couple MSMs, but this is the first time I've been able to see him play, so I'll have to see what kind of challenge he can vote, or he can face. Yeah! Uh, it is interesting. Oh! Okay! Hmm. We're, getting, we're getting some non-dom Richter action. <laughs> the homie coming by for some moral support. We love to see it. We love when our, when you know the fans and everybody show some some passion. If you guys are in chat, we, you can't see what you guys are saying in chat, but we, we love to, that you guys have opinions, energy, passion for this game. We love to hear from you guys, and uh, we love your support. Thank you so much for supporting TGG. And uh, here we go. It is from starting off on PS2. This is a matchup that Chag does have a little bit of experience in. I know he ran a few friendlies with Dom at MSM 240. Oh, and immediately uh, Chag's not going to let Soulbreaker off with that. With that the Politana early percent tax. Yeah, down tilt out of disadvantage at the ledge. At low percent, it is pretty negative on hit, and Chag taking just full advantage right there. Chad trying to, oh my gosh, Chad taking the game by the scruff of the neck. And F Smash to put away Soul Break just for a stop. That oh, the drag, drag down. down to grab! Oh my gosh. So clean, only resulting in 21%, but looking flashy nonetheless. That has to be such a hyper specific sequence. It must be like due to PST's platform height. Right now, Soul Breaker. I mean, I usually say some players aren't able to get out of first gear. He's not able to get out of second gear. He hasn't been able to put his hand on the break to actually get out. <laughs> Oh, but here we go. Big F tilt. Cancel breaker. Ah, he could not get one of the start startups for the famed Belmont traps. Yeah, one of Chad's strengths as a Pelotana player is his platform movement, and it's on full display right here. Uh, it, it, so one of the things that is the case for Belmont is while the whip can cover a lot of distance as fast as heck, the the time in which that move is active is very low. So you can be visually in the same region as the whip and just not get hit by it. Yeah, not only is it very low on activity, it's also very thin, and Chag just a master <laughs> of, of fat hitboxes. <laughs> I mean, Palutena is a master of the mid-range, almost going for that Dragon Aerial again, but Soulbreaker ending up on the other side this time. All right, I do like to see this fight from Soulbreaker. Man's down, but he's not out. All right, fire back with these back air whips. Tries to step back and Chad immediately finds the, the space to close down for a couple grabs. Has Soulbreaker out in no man's land. Oh, but that's a down air. Reckon for my Soulbreaker to be able to mask that in. This time doesn't platform cancel, so Chad just stranding himself for a bit. But, oh, okay. He's actually starting to make Chad think about it. Ah, just short, and Chad punches him with that down air to take stage control. Down throw. The DIN not successful. Chad's able to pursue him. Oh! Wow! From the depths to the top of the skies! There goes Chad, and now Soul Breaker is starting to work on a path to a comeback here, possibly. Lifts that grab again, but still no matter for Chad. No percent taken on the second stop. Chad, oh my gosh, able to platform cancel at the fair in there. Sneaky, sneaky from the top player. Breaker just couldn't position himself well off of that holy water, but still in an advantage state for now. I mean, speaking of positioning, Soul Breaker is exactly where you want to be if you're a Belmont main, completely owning that last third of the stage. That's what you want, is you want Palutena to feel lost and sort of trying to land on you if you're Soul Breaker right now. Okay, as he goes through the uppercut again, Chad yeah. feeling the pressure a little. Yeah, if you put your opponent through the ringer as Belmont. Oh, it's that's, Oh my okay. gosh! What a fake out there by Soulbreaker. And he's brought this all the way back! Still a lot of percent to overcome, but looks up to the challenge. No, he rolled in! Oh, but he's still living. Oh, and he falls right into the breadbasket. Chad gonna take that one. Yeah, it just oh. gave himself so much work to do at the beginning of that game, and even with a very spirited comeback. Soulbreaker just couldn't continue that excellent string of play from the mid game. And Chad, you know, came firing out the gates, but Soulbreaker they very nearly brought that one back. Very impressive play from uh, from Soulbreaker there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, not only confidence but also knowledge from that game one that you can take into the second game. What worked on him? 
You know, you did trap him in the corner a couple times. Do not make a hasty exit. You did get F smashed for that. You got grabbed for that a couple times. Yeah. Where he, he can start, you avoid that? You did start to realize that he can have enough time in most cases to up the ice shield if Chad starts to land in that space to try to go for dash grab. Mm -hmm. So that is available to him. Let's see if he's able to capitalize. Let's go back to PS2 for game number two. Chad, this time sharking underneath the platform, but full breaker dropping below. No escape for Chad on that one. <laughs> Landing fair into a couple of dash attacks. Oh, parry, but not the last hit of the multi-hit in there. That move is terrifying. <laughs> uh, Soulbreaker was trying to make Chad's landing very difficult there, but Chad able to navigate across. Risking that roll from the ledge once again. We're seeing more all radical from Chad here in game two to start things off as well. Wow, shield extended that far? Did you see that, Braun? Yeah, it just covers so much distance. I like that holy water at a disadvantage, but Chag is just using the platform as his own personal umbrella right now. Oh, what an excellently timed explosive flame allowing Chad to sneak back into the back door. But Soulbreaker is making it so Chad can't get back to center stage. Yeah, caught on to some of these platform cancels. The dash attack not quite going to kill oh. that upper will. And that, folks, is why you have to practice some of your landing options. Soulbreaker allowed himself to be a big meatball just falling from the sky right there. <laughs> Up tilt again. Burned that air dodge. Nice up being there by Soulbreaker making Chad's landing a painful one. The axe almost catching. Good timing by Chad to escape the, the axe hitbox. Yeah, it is a he 60 frame commitment. You do need to be absolutely sure you're not going to be punished for. Gets oh! that roll in on the down smash. The down tilt one. A very, very underutilized setup for a lot of Belmont mains, and to the point where a lot of people aren't even aware of it. Oh, man. You look to see Soulbreaker emptying out the tank here. My man's trying to give Chad the fight of his life. Oh, my gosh. You almost see him try to extend for another aerial there. Not quite going to get it. Good, good spot dodge there, but again, the back air shield. So strong and so long-lasting. He's just... Now he's just caught on to these platform uh -oh. cancels. Knows that whenever he's using that double jump early, that can only mean one thing. Oh, the tail end of the Holy Water off shield there. Uh, but again, Chad is using these short, immediate dash attacks to force the issue so well. He is. Ooh. Oh my gosh, he almost got the down smash again off the read. Yeah, not a bad option from Soulbreaker. Did have enough invulnerability, even at high percent, to avoid that down tilt. Soulbreaker's doing a really good job. Oh man, I was about to say he's doing a really good job getting caught at ledge, but. Man, if it's supposed to play being placed that expertly by Chad, there's very little you can do in some situations. Couple of parries, but still not back in advantage. Oh, state. That's no, not going to be missed. the stock. Excellent oh, SDI no. from Chad. And you can see the game slipping away after just a little bit of spaghetti from Chad. Chad trying to capitalize there. Oh, nice. Most Palatines will like whiff, uh, roll behind grab there. He just went for the dash attack. To make Soulbreaker pay. Soulbreaker forcing his way back on the stage. Auto Radical still. This time he just goes to the other platform, but the uppercut gonna catch him. Oh my gosh. And Chad masterfully getting his way off stage, uh, off the ledge there and out of, out of harm's way and just cleaving his way to victory that emphatic up smash. Yeah, well done from the Mexican uh, the Mexican talent. I, you can see, you know, all you want. Oh, this is a bad matchup, but 